All right, so next step, now that these edges have been prepped, is going to be to get this table fixed up so that these can be welded together. This is the easier said, easier said than done part of making something. Cutting metal is pretty easy. Putting something together that's super square uh, and and on size is the hard part. So I'm gonna work on a fixture, try and get this set up so that we can start tacking this together and make something nice. All right, so what I got set up here, I'm gonna try and hold the tripod so this is slightly stable, is I've got these clamps, I've had these a while, but I don't do a whole lot of welding. They're just corner radius clamps or corner clamps, 90 degrees. I've got one set up here so that it's holding the two pieces locked together. And then this was a, it's pretty rusty, but it works well. Um, how accurate is that framing square or this other framing square? I have no idea. These are these are old. These are garage sale finds. This one is kind of cool. It's uh, I don't know if I can get to to put the tripod down. I'm try to focus on that. So this one, this one, oh, no way, not happening. Oh, well, that's kind of there. Anyways, made in USA. Not something you see quite as often anymore. Um, so, I'm machine is square. Uh, this is really small, so it still gives you a really nice 90, but just over a short distance. So, depending on what you're fixturing, this can be work, used really well. It's good for on the CNC mill or on a manual mill for that matter. And then, if I, I'm going to try and aim this so that you guys can see. And I've got this clamped together and and I've rusted the framing square and just to see if it rocks and it's pretty solid. It's it the clamp is pretty accurate, it's holding it fairly fairly square. So because of the grinding I did in the corners, you can see that there is a bit of a gap, and that's a good thing because that gap will allow me to weld and fill without having it just being on the surface. You can actually penetrate the full thickness of the steel. I don't know if I can get this in close enough to, or my video skills are a work in progress. So nice and cleaned up, ready to go. I have no idea whether or not uh, any of the welding will come through on this camera, but we'll give it a try and see how it goes.
have done so far. I'm just gonna try and zoom out so that I can show off a bit more of the what's going on. All I've done so far is just tack the three or the two pieces. Sorry about the poor quality. Let's get this zoomed out. There we go. Uh, there we go. So certainly nothing spectacular. That's totally fine. It's just a start. I do have an option to completely tack the whole thing together and then bring it uh, to a local shop to have it professionally welded. I think as long as I keep everything clean, uh, this should work perfectly fine. The reason why I'm just tacking for now is so that if uh, when I go to assemble the whole thing, there's a shot of my welding helmet. I've had that for uh, quite a while. Probably the same amount of time as I've had this Lincoln Tape 175. And I got a wasp bugging me in the shop. Gotta love it. Anywho. So the goal is to get this frame tacked together at a 24 inch by 48 inch size. So that's as accurate as possible. And I don't like wasps, so I'm going to get this guy out of here and then keep filming. So bench is getting a little bit cluttered now, but what I've got is this corner tacked up and clamped. And then I now have the same corner or the same tool clamping the next corner. So now the plan is to try and get better at using a camera, but for the meantime, doing the best I can. So now I'm going to tack that corner together. So I've measured from I've measured from end to end and I want to be as accurate as I can and on the welded back edge with once that second corner is tacked it's it's about a sixteenth of an inch undersize and then if I measure from over here from the corner that doesn't have a piece welded on it yet to the other side it's it's bang on so Right now, one side is a sixteenth of an inch shorter. The idea will be to get everything tacked together, then measure from corner to corner and try to get that as accurate as possible so that I know I have a, a square top. Hopefully, it averages out and is pretty close to the 20, 24 by 48 inch size. So that's what we're gonna have a go at now. Tack the next corner and then keep assembling. All right, so frame is all clamped together. Just been wiping down and cleaning up so that I can finish tacking. I've got it with, I mean, with a tape measure within a sixteenth of an inch, which is pretty good. I don't really have the best work surface, which is the whole point in building uh, a welding table. Uh, it will be small. It's not that big. It's twenty-four by forty-eight, but. Hopefully I can get it level and flat and square and, and as usable as possible. So what's left now is to tack the last two sides together and then I need to get in the house and open up my computer and uh, restart, refire up my CAD program so that I can figure out how the rest of the legs all go back together because I don't remember.